three Toy Story conspiracy stories animated. Let's begin by IMR Scary Tales. Hey guys, my name's Sid. If you lived in my neighborhood when I was a kid, you might know me as oh, the bad boy. Oh, not this kid. The one who wore a skull t-shirt. The, the one with the ferocious killer dog. I just wanted to punch this kid. But all stories have two versions. Only no one ever wanted to hear mine. Actually, I was always a very okay, good cool. boy. So we get a yes, backstory. I always fought with my sister, sometimes threw tantrums in the street. But what kid doesn't do that? My t-shirt was because I liked True. rock music. And my haircut was because my family didn't have money to send me to a hairdresser. So they cut it for me. Oh, that kind of sucks. People at school treated me very badly because of my appearance. It was like they were afraid of me. I tried to make friends many times, but everyone always stayed away from me. Luckily, I had one best friend who never judged me and was always by my side. Dude. My dog. My parents were hardly ever in the house, so kind of feel bad was for this guy now. Who kept me company every day? Anyway, he had a good time at my house. I always played with my toys. When I grew up, I wanted to be a doctor, so I used to do surgeries with my toys, fusing them and experimenting with them. I felt pity when I broke them. But once, my mom told me that they don't feel pain. So, from that day on, I didn't mind breaking them, since that would be a good excuse to try to repair them. Despite my family's situation, everything was going very well. But one fateful day, <laughs> everything would change. One day, I was with a it's new just toy I found. Man. It was a Buzz Lightyear, just like the one on TV. I was ready to launch it into space where it belonged, but something incredible Just happened. The, the toys in my house came to life. They were everywhere. In the mud, in the sandbox. They were all getting up and walking towards me like <laughs> zombies. All right, it's just too scary moment, now. Woody, another one of my new toys, stared at me with a terrified look on his face and told me that toys have lives and that if I ever hurt them again, they'll kill me. <laughs> Damn. I never saw Buzz or Woody again. But from that day on, I'm terrified of toys, and they know it. <laughs> from that day on, being in my house became a nightmare. Every oh, time whoa. I went into my room, all my toys were arranged differently. I tried to throw them away, but they always came back. Sometimes they'd be waiting for me perfectly arranged with signs telling me to play with them. <laughs> Crying, oh, I obeyed them. Who knows what would happen to me if I didn't. Anyway, he became a slave to the toys. Attention to them. In any case, not even listening to them and everything they asked me to do would prevent what happened on the worst night. I'm scared of Mr. Potato the Man. Come on. I was almost killed. That night, I had gone to bed very early, as we had an evaluation and I was fatigued. I fell asleep almost instantly, and although I thought I would wake up many hours later, a few minutes later, I was already with my eyes open. What? Oh, they What's them happening? Up. They were my three toys: Baby Face, Legs, and Ducky. Baby Face. The last one had a piece of paper You're cut not in playing its with hand, us which had written on it, "You are not playing with us anymore." I'm, I'm sorry. I promise I'll do it more often. Why do we always have to ask you? <laughs> Please, don't hurt me. I'm really trying my best. You've been a very he just bad wants boy, to be a doctor, bro. Now. Will have to hurt you. No, please, no. I'll do anything you ask. Don't do anything to me. Ignoring my words, Ducky grabbed one of my eyelids with its huge oh. toy hands and lifted it up. To which no legs way they can take his eyeball out. Forehead, used its fishing rod to catch it and leave it open. Luckily for me, its hook was made of plastic, so it didn't hurt. But Dude. that wasn't its purpose. Other toys began to climb up on my belly with a small mirror, and at the command of Babyface's paws, they put it near my eye. No I didn't way. understand what they were doing, but when I saw them carefully arrange it, they could put I his eyeball everything. on Babyface. Ah! Eyeball, Help! eye socket. My eyes! It burns! After several seconds of screaming and pain, they did the same to the other eye. After a few seconds, oh, they, they just burned his eyes in? My eye felt like it was burning. I couldn't see anything at all. When they stopped, I felt something strange. While I was screaming, toy soldiers came into my mouth. I tried to close it, but Babyface used its claws to leave it open. Wait, why are they crawling in there, bro? It mocked me. 
Already inside my mouth, a few soldiers ran towards my throat. I started, hey, yo. were they trying to kill me? And I hurt them so much that they hated me so much. I yep. felt like fainting, but hearing all the screams. And to my rescue, my dog ran into my bed. Hey, and when he jumped on top friend. of me to attack the toys as it always does, the bed gave up and broke, allowing me to break free. I coughed up all the soldiers and desperately ran out of my room, but I still couldn't see anything. Oh. I crashed into everything in front of me until, as soon as I managed to get out of the room, I fell down the stairs. Already on the floor, I felt that my body was not reacting. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. Possibly I had broken them. I opened my eyes slowly, trying to clear my vision. Oh no, baby it's face baby was face. in my face, looking at me get with that face, terrifying baby, face. baby smile. I felt his paws sinking into my nostrils, squeezing harder and harder inside. I wanted to scream. I wanted to call got for buggies, help, bro. but I was so shocked. I could only watch with my eyes wide open. With no one to save me, assuming baby, baby was going to bury its claws all the way into my brain, the toy simply stopped. We will kill your sister. What? We will kill your family. Why are they going to kill his we family, bro? Kill they didn't do anything. Dog. Play with us. With that said, the now toys they want to get played with. Fell to the floor as if it had no These life. toys are weird, bro. Behind me, I heard two worried voices. Sid, what happened to you? Son, are you okay? It was my parents. Both of them had brought my sister from a friend's house. Damn it, son, look at your shoulder. You've dislocated it. Confused, I couldn't answer anything. I just looked at them, and crying, I hugged them. Wow, you really Damn. got hit hard, didn't you? When we went to the hospital, they only told me I had a dislocated arm and some bruises. When I got home, I feel so I bad for this room. guy. I said I wanted to punch him in the face. Now, the now I take that back. Sign that said, "We love you, Sid." It took me days to see well again, and I still don't think part of my eyes ever healed. From that day on, I played with my toys every day until the day I moved out of my house. All of my aspirations of becoming a doctor vanished. Today, oh, wow. I work as a garbage collector. I enjoy my job, but every once in a while, when I throw everything in the dumpster, sometimes I see toys Huggy, in the what? garbage, what? and I swear they're looking at me too. <laughs> Dude's about to hey guys, stab his ankle. you're enjoying the video. If so, please leave a like. Dude, that and was also, insane, man. A small man. percentage of people that watch my videos I'm are actually, actually scared of Toy Story now. To support this channel and make this channel reach the All right, story Andy's 2. Andy's best friend in the Toy Story movies is his cowboy doll Woody, but a theory posits that Woody first belonged to Andy's absent father. Being one of the most discussed conspiracy theories, many fans came up with various interpretations of this. Some say Woody himself was Andy's father. What? Somehow his dead father remained alive through his childhood doll. That's but crazy. Story never directly addressed the big question. I never what heard this exactly before. What exactly happened to Andy's father? Did he die? Did he and Andy That's a good question. get a divorce? The story you're about to see is a spin-off sequel created by He IMR, probably has a new baby mama. Entertainment. Being one of the biggest fans of the Toy Story franchise, IMR took the liberty to produce the comic storyline with a creative dark turn. Hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, I'm we ready, bro. Uh, where the hell is my beer? I asked for it an hour ago. Get it yourself. So this is Andy? Andy's parents? Andy! Where is that stupid boy? Always Damn. keeping his toys scattered around the floor. Andy! I casually walked downstairs. This was something new for me. Since my mom married her abusive boyfriend, our lives had finally become completely unbearable. Frank's abuses have two levels. Mm. At first, he abuses alcohol, and then he abuses us. Pretty simple, but highly effective. As I came downstairs, I saw my mom staring at me with utmost annoyance and anger. How many times do I have to tell you to throw out this old junk? One day, it's gonna ruin our lives. She has Dang, always been so, so mean, dramatic bro. about everything. I kept quiet like I do these days and started picking up my toys into a cardboard box. Oh, sad look at Frank stormed to the fridge to get himself a beer while my mom went to the kitchen cursing her life. On his way back to the porch, Frank stopped anyway. beside me. 
I was about to pick up the last toy, and he happily put his huge feet on my hand. <laughs> Look at you, filthy, measurable squint. It was painful, right, I but I kept guy. quiet like I do these days. After a few seconds, he let go and went back to his dirty, fart-smelling couch, back to watching TV. Well, like fart, I grabbed bro. the box filled with toys and came back to my room. I opened my closet to keep the toys. I was almost done putting all of them when I found a sheriff cowboy toy. I had no idea how it ended Damn. up in my box, so I picked it up and pulled the you string like demonic attached as to its heck, back. Dude. Giddy up, partner! Wow, it talks. I pulled the string a few more times and it said a bunch of catchphrases ah, like throw it to the trash, Reach for brother. the sky. You're my favorite deputy. The toy's clothes were old and had dirt on them. I took it to the bathroom and cleaned it. Looks like he's been abused I by slept the hugging it that night. For the first time in a while, I missed my dad. I hardly think about him. He died when I was a little kid. Tears rolled down my eyes as I thought about him. I looked at the cowboy doll. I wish you could come alive. Dude, I would not go to sleep with that thing. I'm like a freaking Chucky doll. It was doll. probably around 1 a.m. when I woke up hearing my mom's painful sobbing. No, Frank, please. Just leave me, okay? Yeah, so I don't want to be with you anymore. I realized drunk Frank is again beating my mom. I came downstairs and found my Frank. mom on the ground. Her lips were bleeding, probably from a punch or a Damn. slap. And Frank was standing next to her with his leather belt in one hand. Leave you? After how you ruined my life? You said your husband left tons of money for us. That's why I came here. And now you what tell me all that money belongs to your little piglet, son? You witch. I'll... Don't you dare touch my mom, Frank. My, you know what, bro? my. The little piglet talked. <laughs> now I will skin both of you alive. Dude, it's Saying crazy. This, he snapped the belt in my direction. And just then, an unexpected sound took place. There's a snake in my boot! What the hell is this? I don't know how my cowboy doll ended up on the living room floor. Frank's accidental stepping over him made it talk. <sighs> what don't the heck the belly bro. is this? He raised his leg to stomp on my doll in anger. I lunged at him, screaming. No! Leave him alone! But he pushed me away and I fell on the floor. Frank then oh, went on stomping person. over the doll and screaming in joy. <laughs> I wake up the bad juju from that doll. Puppet. I'll do the same thing to you too. The doll was getting smashed, but then suddenly Frank stopped. He grabbed his chest and fell on the floor like he was having heart a attack. heart attack. No, Frank! My mom screamed. Girl. Frank's body started shaking and his skin swelled up. Ooh. Thousands of blisters started popping on his face, arms, every inch of his body. He looked like a man built with transparent water balloons. Slowly, look, he blew up into nasty. a big barrage balloon. In a choked up dying voice, he said, What's happening to me? That's what and then get. a loud sound of pop took place. Frank popped and his skin oh. fell on the floor along with his clothes. Imagine all the My mom flesh and, I were too and blood to speak. What did you do to him, Andy? <laughs> what? You didn't do anything. I didn't what? do anything. What are you saying? Where did you find this doll? I remember burning it with the other stuff. What other stuff? What are you saying? This can't be. This isn't possible. We can all He's agree dead. that Frank deserves I this, saw right? My mom turning hysteric. We've been I a was drunk shocked abusive to see that the doll's appearance parent. scared her more than what just happened to Frank. Her words made no sense. I couldn't take it anymore. I screamed. Please tell me what's going on here! You're being crazy! It belonged to your dad, okay? Happy? I couldn't bear the sight of his things. They all reminded me of your father, Andy. So I burned them. I burnt everything that belonged to your dad. And Damn. I burned Woody too. Then how the hell is he back? Dad called him Woody? I will burn this again. Yes, right now. She's a hater, bro. But before she could, Frank's leftovers started moving. Something was under all that skin and clothes. The pile started to rise like a wave on the ocean. 
Slowly, a skinny pair of legs wearing boots peeked out no from that way. pile. One by one, the hands, the upper torso, and a face with a sheriff hat on it oh. from that pile. My small cowboy dog, oh. Woody, was now standing in front of our eyes in his human size. A sick smile Dude. was lurking on his face. He looked my mom in the eye and said, Being there for a child is the most noble thing a toy can do. Let him know oh what's up, God. bro. This isn't real. <laughs> This is the perfect time to panic. And Dude, he picked really up scary. Frank's belt and started chasing my mom oh, no the way. house. Time to straighten things up. Girl just jump out the window, man. To save her life, and Woody didn't let her breathe for one second. There came a point when she collapsed on the ground and started panting, and the final truth came out of her mouth. I'm sorry, okay? I... I admit it. I killed him. <sighs> Yes, she killed it was me. What? I poisoned him every single day for his money. But please, please let me go. You killed my dad? You killed that one person who loved me? Dang, Fury that's tough, and heartbreak bro. took over me. I looked at Woody. He had the biggest grin ever. He slowly walked up to my mom and then gave her a tight hug. He hugged her so tight that my mom's face smashed like a jelly bean. But instead of blood or fluid, cotton balls came out of her mouth. We can all agree the Strings mother deserved this too. Down from her eyes, and then an explosion of puffy cotton balls took place, leaving her skin and clothes on the ground. Like Frank, she was gone too. I finally have peace in my life now. Woody and his new girlfriend oh, take scary. good care of me. We call her Bo Peep. Both of them look odd in their human-sized physic, but I don't ever want to be away from them. It's like having my perfect parents again. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> Over the years, the Toy Story franchise has been subject to all manner of fan theories. From how the toys are living creatures, to Andy's mother being the real villain. A reoccurring theme throughout the Toy Story movies is the toy's fear of not being loved or played with. Based on that note, some fans even claim that the toys from Toy Story are vampires, and they what? are immortal. I never hear that. That's crazy, bro. Life, the toys feed on children's joy instead of blood. And maybe because Andy's mother could sense this evil intention among the toys, she was so adamant to get rid of them. However, these are just theories developed by fans. Exactly. I am our scary tales thought to go creative by giving this theory a dark yet entertaining touch. Enjoy. My Ooh. daughter Chrissy used to be a huge fan of Toy Story when she was five years who old. Who doesn't love Toy she Story, man? Come on. She was obsessed with the weird mutant toys, and among them, the baby face was her favorite. All right, as she's already a freak. As it sounds, it was true. Kids sometimes fancy weird things that make no sense to grown-ups. That she is a hundred percent true. Buy her the baby face toy, oh. but I didn't because of its scary attire. One day, I was cleaning the house when like I heard Lewis my Griffin. husband talking to Chrissy in a hush-hush voice. Now, don't tell mom, okay? She would be angry if she knew Peter I made Griffin, this bro? for you. I love you, Dad. This is exactly what I wanted. I went to Chrissy's room and saw my husband, Daniel, giving a box to Chrissy. What are you guys up to? What's in that box, Daniel? Um, nothing. Chrissy came running Cap. up to me and said, Dad made me the baby face toy. Please, mommy, can I keep it? Please. I opened the box and saw my nightmare turned into reality. <laughs> Daniel is an engineer, and somehow he has built the creepy baby face toy from Toy Story for our daughter. Isn't he that had great? An awkward chuckle and said, <laughs> "Chrissy's been asking for it for a long time, Mindy. It's nah, just he's a crazy, bro. After all. But how come he's this crazy, bro? Freak out, you guys. I don't think any kid should play with something like this." But mommy, it walks. Chrissy placed the toy on the floor and turned on a small switch at the back of his bulbous head. Oh, that is creepy. Balancing on its metallic spider legs, the head of another broken doll nope, started throw it walking to the trash. all over Chrissy's room. God, this looks sick. Come on, Mindy, you're overreacting now. What harm can come from playing with a toy? It can kill you. Fine, you can keep it. Oh, my sweet mommy. Chrissy hugged me and got super excited about finally having the toy of her dreams. 
The entire day, Chrissy didn't that little girl need new dreams. Out of her sight. Even at the dinner table, I had to tolerate that creepy doll staring at me. After dinner, I got busy doing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen. The house was in deep silence as everyone slept in their rooms. Before going to bed, I thought of checking on my daughter. I walked into her room, trying my best not to wake her up. Oh. Chrissy was sleeping like a little lamb. And beside her, laid a baby, baby face, face with one broken eye and its outrageous metallic legs. This was my chance. I picked it up to throw it in the bin and to my gonna, surprise, gonna attack her Chrissy opened her eyes. What are you doing with baby face? Um, nothing, just I throw it to it trash, the girl. You lie. You were gonna throw him away. No. 100%. Why would you think that, Chrissy? He just told me. He heard your heart. A cold shiver ran down my spine. Just then, I felt a sharp pain on my. All right, finger, the little girl's crazy. It's confirmed. Me, and I dropped the toy on the floor. You've made him angry. Now, he is going to punish you. Now mommy. she look like baby face, bro. Look what? at that. What are you? Suddenly, a sound of crackling bone shifted my attention from Chrissy to baby face. The toy was now oh, he's gonna throw hands with you. Legs and looking at me with a creepy smile. Baby face wants to throw hands. I could see the evil in its eye. Within a second, it started to crawl I at told me you. full speed. It jumped on me, and I screamed and kicked oh. it with all of my strength. The toy flew in the air like for kicking a moment the and hit the wall. Its creepy metal legs broke like shattered glass, and I sat down on the floor. I was panting. I thought finally it was over. The damned cursed toy. Now you gotta kick now. the child in the head. But my relief didn't last long. As soon as the toy broke, something horrible happened. Thousands of small baby faced oh. toys started coming out of its big bulbous head. Yes, an army of baby faces no way. filled Chrissy's room. Like an infestation. <laughs> get mommy. Go. Get her. Chrissy started clapping and girl, laughing. The girl, the girl, as evil as that baby doll. Before I could get up and run, they were all over my body like a herd of spiders. They were crawling everywhere, on my hands, my legs, my hair, my face, even got inside my clothes. Ah, uh, she's small, bro. Their tiny metal legs pierced oh. through my skin. I was getting injected with a thousand needles at the same time. Ah, save me! Save me, Daniel! Help me! Ah! Come on, no Daniel. How hard I tried to get Where's the creature away from me. More and more of them started coming at me. I thought this was it. Hey, yo. I will be eaten alive by these baby faces. Somehow, somehow they all came alive and sensed my hatred for them. Oh God! If I knew how vengeful and dangerous they are. Come on, you got this. Fight back. I would have loved them and feared them just like Chrissy. Sometimes she just accepts Please, her fate. If I could only have one more chance. Dude, I come swear, me, come me, ha, huh, bro. Too. But I guess it's too late now. I was drowning in a swarm of baby faces. Oh. They were laughing like baby vampires. The cuts they made on my body. You don't give up, then I you deserve to die. Sucking my blood from those wounds. As they drank my blood, Ooh. their heads turned red. Oh, no way. I was in hell, and no one came to my rescue. Slowly, the will to live started dying in my heart. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you deserve, Mommy. Damn, you're this crazy. what happens when you hate baby face. Chrissy mocked me crazy sitting Crazy little girl, man. I couldn't believe my daughter was against me. Slowly... Her face started changing into the oh. creepy toy. My beautiful daughter's head got replaced by the no one-eyed, broken doll head. She turned into baby face. Anymore. Not my daughter! I shook my body with all my strength, and the crawling toys deflected. There you go. Once I freed myself from their grasp, I lunged at Chrissy, who wasn't she my daughter She got superhero anymore. powers now. I grabbed the bulbous head and started smashing it into the wall. You took my daughter. I will Dude, kill you. Dude, that's still your daughter. You. What? You cursed dog. You're slamming her against this the will wall. Be the end of you. Die, die, die. I went on smashing the this doll's head. This is very gruesome. I didn't stop. Didn't hesitate. Just kept screaming. 
All right, I think you got a little carried away now. What did you do? It was Daniel's voice that brought me back to this world. I wanted to tell him I killed Babyface. We finally got rid of this haunted toy, but I bet you there was no Babyface. To my horror, they were drenched in blood, human blood. As I looked at my daughter's bed, the ground beneath my feet swept away. All hell broke loose. It wasn't Dang. a baby face whom I thought I was smashing into the wall. The wall had blood stains, and fresh blood was dripping. And it had her baby's face Chrissy's on the wall. Chrissy's lifeless it. little head hung from the edge of the bed, and I realized what the toy made me do. It made me kill my daughter. There were no swarms of small baby faces, as if there never were. Only the baby face toy that my husband made for Chrissy was lying broken in the corner. So it was like a haunted baby face doll or something? It made it go crazy? I don't understand. Oh my god, is that her? Yeah, Mindy William. Isn't that the, the cleaning lady from Family Guy? Pulp. Some people say she got possessed by a demon. Okay, yes. so... She's a psycho. So the doll she was with her possessed mind. by a demon. There's no demon behind this crime. And the demon possessed the mom. That makes a lot of sense, huh? Man, that was crazy, bro. Holy crap. I did not expect these Toy Stories uh, animated stories to get so dark and twisted as they did. But they were top-notch entertainment. All right. So, uh, shout out to IMR uh, Scary Tales. I'll link the videos down below in the description. And thank y'all for watching. And have a great rest of your weekend.